finished product with the uh, tarp mounted to the trees. Okay, I thought I'd take you around the campsite here a little bit. Over here, got my buck saw, fluid, got my coat hanger, got my irons. There's my backpack and my ground sheet, hammock, and some festive lanterns up in there. Got my uh, kitchen bags in there. Another lantern. Plenty of water, little table. So I got my tripod going on. Here's the paper towel roll. <laughs> Sit in the hammock. Knives in a handy place. And I got my clothes lying back here. Ain't got much hanging up yet. But definitely a nice little setup. I should sleep good tonight. It's just nice out here. Nice little cool breeze going. Not hot at all. Pretty comfortable actually. Fresh air. Enjoying it. Hey there, Woody. Good morning. Day two. Beautiful morning out. Temperature definitely dropped, but I stayed good and warm. Especially thanks to uh, Brandon sending me uh, that uh, sleeping bag, military sleeping bag. That yeah, thing kept me good and toasty. Uh, got my coffee. So I'm doing good there. Heated up some more water and made some coffee. Made some changes. I put my table over here. Oh, it's right next to me when I'm sitting there. Hammock did nicely. I do have to, for uh, anything below 50 degrees, put extra insulation under me though. I'll say the uh, double bud bubble pad uh, works just fine for 
Well, 50 degrees, but around midnight, I started getting chilly. So I grabbed my other sleeping bag and climbed inside of it. I was saying that didn't work too bad. But I'm going to take uh, my big Angus sleeping bag and make a under quilt out of it for tonight. Go right underneath the hammock. Keep me good and warm. But that is a nice hammock. Just a short walk from the camp. I got a place to fish. This is what I wake up to. Nothing like chillaxing in the morning. Watching the sun come up. Staying warm by the fire. It'll work rather nice, I think. All we gotta do is Pull this down around this side. And then I should have really good coverage. Keep me nice and warm. Definitely gotta get an underquilt though. Something that works nice with these hammocks. Because they are a little funny shaped. But with that and the double bubble pad that's in there. That should keep me nice and warm throughout the rest of the night, or well, tomorrow night. See, cause that's, seems to be the only problem I had is a little cool on my back when I got early, early in the morning. But I slept, so I didn't freeze. Wasn't shivering or anything. But to be perfectly comfortable, I think that'll do the trick. We'll give that a shot tonight. See how I like it. Wind's picking up out here. Warming up. Nice breeze going. Uh, what we got going out here? Looks about 70 degrees now. It's probably about as warm as it's going to get today. Maybe a little more. Day three. Good morning. Sitting by the fire, just had me a Johnny cake. Cup of coffee. Got down, uh, I don't know, at least a few 50, 55 last night. The night before, I think it got a little chillier. But, uh, beautiful morning out here. Wouldn't miss it for, for the world. Good morning. Look at that morning. A little foggy out. Starting to clear up.
took my tarp down a little bit tighter yesterday because it was kind of windy. I wanted to make sure I could block the wind. But my uh, little cocoon worked really, really nice. I stayed uh, beautifully warm in that last night with no problems. Fog's clearing up quick. Working on a little coffee and some heat. Still quite chilly out. Turning out to be a beautiful morning. Talk about clear skies. Now it's gonna look about like a blue screen. <laughs> Sun's still starting to peak up over there. Definitely looks nice. I can wake up to, to this every day. Well, I finally figured out the worst part about being out here. Having to leave. I don't want to go. But with the hunters coming in tomorrow morning, I don't want to stay. That's it.